Hi, everybody. Welcome to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi. Today, we're going to do yoga for your feet. We're just going to do exercises to help us to release our feet. Many of you in the studio and here in the channel are asking me, like, oh, I have this problem with my knee. I have this problem with my ankle, with my feet. And the thing is that sometimes we put a lot of effort in, this, in the back, in the legs, but we don't think that just a few stretches for the feet will help us a lot for the joints. Let me explain you why. So your foot have like a more than 25 muscles and joints, and we never really release them. So the, the plus with the shoes, our toes, our foot is compressing, so it doesn't have mobility. So if that part, which is the base, get tight, imagine what has happened all along the lower leg, the top leg. So that's why we don't have the balance, the strength, the the support. So that's why we start to have knee problems, ankle problems. And it's just because the feet are too tight. The muscles in the feet are too tight. And remember, we have here as well four classes. It's called Happy Feet. And it's four classes just specific for your feet. You can watch them as well. But I'm going to do this class just for today, just to something quick that we can learn and we can remember how to stretch. It will help us for our knee, our ankles, our lower leg, and of course, our feet. So so let's start. Are you ready? Fantastic. So first we're going to do this one that we've been doing in some of the classes. So we're just going to do heel raise. So we're going to go right and down. And we remember this part that we push the ground with the ball of your feet when you lift the heel. And we keep going up. Keep your tummy in, everybody. Pull up your tummy. That sensation or pull up your tummy to help us to... Engage our core muscles, important. Let's go for the three, push the ground and down. Left and down, right and down, left, down, right again, down and left, down. Now we are gonna go the toes, okay? This is gonna be a bit more complicated. You might find that you have less mobility Probably your feet are going to come a little bit, not too much, doesn't matter. And we keep going. Five in each side. Give your tummy in. Four. Three. Two. Just one more. Now we're going to walk on our tippy toes. We're going to push our big toes. And remember, always your big toes is your main balance. Engage your tummy so your back is not arching. Don't push your, pel your torso forward. Don't, the pelvis is not in, so we don't go backward. So we try to have that neutral position of the pelvis. So we're just going to walk with our toes forward along the mat and backwards. Okay. We're going to walk here. Pressing with your big toes. Try to keep your legs straight and lift your tummy. And we just go and we turn around. Easy peasy. But that's going to give us loads of strength in our feet and mobility. And we just keep going. Engage your tummy. It's not the same as you have high heels because you might say, oh, but I use high heels. It's not the same because with the high heels, we are resting the heels on the shoe. But here, no, here we really need to use the strength of the toes. Yes, strengthen your toes. I remember once uh, a person who came to my class, said, oh, after do the yoga classes and stuff like that, she said, like, oh, it's my first time that my feet feels fit. <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah, I never thought that, you know, that when you start to be more aware of your feet, you can really develop um, strength in your feet. So how you feel? Good. Make sure we're going to do all the time as far as we don't feel pain. Let's go the last one, everybody. It's just simple, easy. And back. Now we're going to change. We're going to walk on our heels. And this is to give us a strength as well and flexibility on your heels. And some of you, you will find like, oh, this is quite hard. And if it's hard for you, this, that's the answer. You are not having mobility in your feet. You need to do these stretches and do these exercises. Okay, let's go. Here's a little bit funny walking. I highly recommend to swing a little bit at the sign like a penguin because it will help you to maintain the balance. <laughs> Definitely. Keep going, keep going. Well done. That's it. You get tired, you can stop. 
And we just last one. Good. And come back. Now, one of my favorites is the, are the next ones, which is with a ball, with a tennis ball. Now, normally people say like a roll around. Uh, for me, I feel like it's very beneficial just to press and change. And keep moving the ball along the foot just by pressing like this, pressure like this. Now, again, when you press the ball and you feel loads of pain, you feel like a ah, super pain, that is your answer. You need to release those feet because sometimes you're like, oh, no, my hamstrings are tight. No, sometimes it's the feet and the lower leg. And you will see how different it's going to be you walking, you're standing, because you will have more uh, yeah, mobility in your feet. And we just go here. How long? We can hold one minute. No problem. That's good. We press. That's super. Feels good. After a while, you don't, you won't have pain. But I remember the first time I did this. Wow, it was painful. Let's go other side. We just press. And what I normally do uh, before I train, I do this exercise. The ball one is one of my favorites. It really helped me to release my feet because me, I find like a, my lower leg is very tight. Like in my calf muscles, my shin, and my feet as well. Because I don't have arch, as you can see, I have a flat foot. So it can be very sore uh, for walking. And after years, you know, when you are young, you don't feel it. But now I am in my 40s. I'm 45, and I can feel it. Now the how is so stiff. So I have to do it every day. This is because sometimes we have that idea like, oh, um, I stretched yesterday. It's going to be enough for one week. No, it's not enough. You have to, you have to do it pretty much every day. It's like when people ask me, uh, do you do yoga? How many times a day? Well, I think like I, I do yoga because every day I, I need to use my body. So it helps to maintain my mobility. How it feels? Good. Yeah, but you feel it strong. Super. My next one is going to be um, lifting the sock. You might be uh, seeing that in my Instagram videos, also in my YouTube videos. So I forgot this sock. So let me get it. Okay. Ta -da! So the other exercise, great to stimulate your toes flexibility. It's just easy. Catch the sock and lift it. Okay. That will help you a lot. And it's going to be a huge difference when you in your yoga practice. If you uh, practice um, a standing poses, even the standing forward bend, because it will give you grip onto the ground and you will have more stability. So let's go here for four, three, two, and one. Well done. Let's go the way. Four, three, Two, <laughs> and one, <laughs> well done. Drop it on the side. And the last one, it's, you can do it in different order, you know, don't worry. It's just you need to have something like a step. If you have a yoga block, it's going to be fantastic. But if you don't have it, you can put some blocks and then some blocks, some books, and it will help you. And it's just put the metatarso on the block, the heel on the floor, and just stretch here our calf. Again, some of us, we will be able to put only one foot because it feels too tight. So then just don't worry. Just do one foot, take four breaths, then the other foot, take four breaths. If you are able to put the two, fantastic. Just make sure that your heels are on the ground. And here, one more time, engage your tummy, everybody. That is the main key of everything. If we don't keep our, our pelvic floor muscles, our lower tummy engaged, no matter what we did, or what we do, sorry, is, is not going to create effect because our body is completely loose. So the network of muscles are not connected. So you are not getting the benefit. So really you have to get used to, to that sensation. So relax your shoulders. And get your tummy. And remember, you can go to my website, sacredbirdstudio.ie. You can find the link below. And to check our full Pilates course from beginners to advanced power Pilates to help us to feel more our abs, engage more our abs. So how it feels, if you have one foot, change your foot, and just stay there, breathing in, 
Breathing out, you can hold your elbows as well to just go a little bit deeper to open, uh, open up your chest, give it some flavor here. And then drop, other side, arms backwards, and release. It feels fantastic. Now release and walk. And let me know if you feel different. It feels completely different. It's just the feet sometimes that we don't put too much um, focus in our feet, but it's amazing the benefits after. So I hope you like this video. It was like a yoga, feet yoga, but in reality it's just stretches and exercises to help us to develop mobility and strength in our feet. Thank you for joining us, and we we'll see you in the next video. Remember to subscribe, like, and leave your emoji. Thank you so much. See you in the next one.